Welcome back everyone to West Explains Best. Today we're going to be talking about a Khan Academy exercise and this is going to be the tutorial of it of simplify roots of negative numbers. So to understand what that means for taking roots of negative numbers we need to understand the imaginary unit i. So that's what it says right here in the Khan Academy. So what is i? Well i is represented by the square root of negative 1 because when we talk about problems like square root of negative 16, we think to ourselves, what times itself twice gives us negative 16? If we do negative 4 times negative 4, that equals positive 16. If we do positive 4 times positive 4, we get positive 16. So what number would give us a negative 16? That's where we need the imaginary unit. So the first step in dealing with any sort of problem with imaginary units and negative roots, as you see here, we have a negative number underneath a radical and it just can't be any radical radicals with uh, even exponents are the only ones that require imaginary numbers because with uh, odd power indexes or odd indexes for radicals you can have negative numbers as the roots but any even power index you need imaginary numbers okay so the first step as I said is to take out the i or separate the i from the problem. So what we're going to do here, if we look at plus or minus the square root of negative 81, what we're going to do is we're going to separate this into two problems. We're going to separate it into the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 81. Once we do this, we recognize that we already have an identification of i. We know that that is the square root of negative 1, so we're going to rewrite this as plus or minus i, and then we have the square root of an 81. Well, of course we know what that is. That's 9. So then we have plus or minus 9i. It's kind of like the variables. You wouldn't write uh, 9 times x as x9. You would write it as 9x. So it's the same thing with uh, the imaginary number, is you're going to express it in terms with uh, the i after the coefficient. So we're going to write 9i here. 9 and then i is that option. So we're going to check that. Good to go. Okay, so now we're on to... Uh, square root of negative 24. Again, our first step, take out the i. Okay, that's not a, a violent uh, attack move. It's just what we're doing here. We're separating the i. Maybe that's a better thing to say. Separate the i. Keep the plus or minus out in front. We know that square root of negative 1 is i plus or minus, and then we have square root of 24. Now, square root of 24 is not a perfect square. So what we need to do is we need to factor this in so that it has a perfect square. I like demonstrating like this. I have numerous videos on how to do this quickly and efficiently. We're, but essentially, we're looking for anywhere we see two twos or two numbers, a pair of numbers, and then one of those is going to leave the radical. Anything else that remains stays inside the radical. So what stays inside? The 2 and the 3 get multiplied, and then 1, 2 leaves the radical, so we get 2 radical 6. So instead of writing 20, square root of 24, I'm going to write 2 radical 6, don't forget we have the i and the plus or minus. We should write it in standard form here. 2i radical 6. 2i radical 6. Okay, we're moving and grooving. On to plus or minus square root of 37. Negative 37. Again, we need to separate the i. Square root of negative 1. Square root of 37 plus or minus. We know that square root of negative 1 is i, plus or minus, and now we have square root of 37. Now, if you try to factor square root of 37, we're trying to think of factors here. 3 is not divisible by 3. It's not divisible by 7. Not divisible by 9. It's not divisible by 13. I'm just checking all the odd numbers. Not divisible by 11. Not divisible by 17. Not 19. Okay, so that basically does it. This is a prime number, so this is our answer plus or minus i radical 37. i radical 37, check it. All right, we're on to the last question. Uh, nice, easy one to finish up with. Okay, I hope you guys start to recognize as we take out the square root of negative one, it just becomes i. And then we can write this as square root of nine. So plus or minus uh, square root of nine is three, plus or minus three i, and that's what we're gonna write for our answer. I hope you guys have the same success I just had in this tutorial 
Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day and make sure to be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest. See you next time.